I'm going to show you how you can change the background color inside of Adobe Photoshop in any photo. Let's jump into the laptop and let me show you step by step how you can convert the background color to the color that you want for your photo. So once you're inside of Photoshop, open up the image that you want to use. Make sure you are selected on the layer background. We're going to head over to the top left and click on the quick selection tool. Make sure you are on the quick selection tool and not the magic wand. Now in the past, we used to have to then select our subject using this to select where the subject is. With the latest version of Adobe Photoshop, you can now use the AR to find your subject. So you can just select subject there, and then it's gonna ask you if you want to discard your current selection, say yes, that's okay. And it's going to do the work for you and select your subject. Now there are parts of the hair and the edges where it may make a few errors. So if you want to go in and add back anything that it hasn't included, you can add that in there. The smaller parts like the edge of the hair here that it's missed and it's missed parts of the hair there, don't stress too much about small details like that. We're gonna come back and refine that later. If you want to refine it a bit more, you can zoom in and then check if there's something like the eyelashes that we haven't selected here. You can change your brush size and then come in and get those details exactly the way that you want them so that you have everything selected where you want it and how it's going to look. If you do ever make any mistakes, you just use Command Z and that will undo your error. If you want to minus anything from the selection, you can click on that minus tool and take that away. Add in a little bit there. And we are happy with that. Let's zoom back out and then head over to the layers panel and we're gonna head down to the bottom and we're going to select add a solid color and we can choose the color that we want to add. We're going to make it red, and that's gonna create a new layer with a layer mask. Select that layer mask because now the red has filled our subject and we want it to fill the background. So head under properties and we're going to click invert. So now it's gonna show our color on the background and you'll see around the edge of the shoulder and the hair here and on the edge of her hair at the top, we are not exactly perfect. So we wanna go in and refine that. So all you're gonna do is zoom back in and we're gonna refine the edges of the hair here. Before we start refining, I want you to select this layer and change the blend mode to multiply. What that's gonna do is bring back the shadows that we have in the original image and make it look a lot more natural. Then we're gonna head over to the left and select the brush tool and change our color to white. Make sure you have selected the layer mask and we're going to just adjust our brush size and make sure that our hardness is set to around 30%. And we can come back in and add back to the edge of the shoulder. Now we're not selecting all of this hair because we've blended it, the hair is still going to come through and you're still gonna see parts of it so it's not gonna be as harsh and hard but we wanna get rid of that bright white edging that we are seeing coming through. So just on the edging of the hair, filling in those spaces. And we're quite happy with that. Where it's super, super white, we're going to fill in there. So we just don't want any of that white edging to come through completely. And when you're really up close here, it may not look the best, but it will look fine once you zoom out. We're just really close in on the details here. So let's zoom back out. Then what we're gonna do is double click on this color and we can change the background color. So we could go for a funky purple or a nice blue or a light blue or turquoise. That's quite nice and lighten it up a bit. 
And there we go, we have changed the background of our image in Photoshop. If you have any questions or queries about changing the color of the background inside of Photoshop, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll be happy to help you out. If you're new here, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel because we create new videos every single week, helping you with everything Adobe. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.